Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have invited Nishtha in my channel and in this video we will talk about how Nishtha got internship from Microsoft, Morgan Stanley and currently she is interning at Walmart. So how you got internship opportunity from this company. So hello Nishtha, thank you, thank you for accepting my invitation. So could you please give us your quick introduction so that our viewer will get to know about you. Sure, uh, like firstly thank you so much for inviting me to the podcast. And uh, yeah, hi everyone, I'm Nishtha Gupta and I'm currently a final year BTEC student uh, pursuing, uh, in, uh, pursuing BTEC in information technology from Made Delhi. And currently I'm working as a software engineer intern at Walmart. <laughs> and uh, last summer I have interned at Microsoft and Morgan Stanley as well. So like I've worked with a couple of uh, technologies and apart from that, I'm a very curious person and I love to explore new things. And yeah, I also host spaces on various tech topics on Twitter. And also I try to create some useful content on LinkedIn. So yeah, thanks for giving me a chance. That's great. So I personally joined some of uh, her space at Twitter and she's really creating a very good like content at Twitter and LinkedIn. So you can follow her. I will put the, all the handles link in the description. So please check out the description. Yeah, so Nishta, second question I want to ask you that how you got interview opportunity from Walmart and other uh, another, another company for internship? Sure. So like, uh, as I mentioned that I've interned with some <coughs> more companies and also I've given some more interviews and I've gotten offers as well. So like all were off campus, like I've never set for any on campus opportunity, which were coming to my college. So basically, like I used to apply on the career side. So if I talk about Morgan Stanley, so it was a uh, like open hiring program. So I just applied simply on the careers portal and then received the OA link and everything. Uh, OA link and then uh, interviews. If I talk about Microsoft, then again, I would have applied to, you know, career side. Actually, I don't even remember when did I apply for Microsoft, but it's something like uh, I applied off campus on career side and received the test link and interviews. For Walmart, uh, it was uh, basically a, a program which was on T2C platform. That is uh, That name is Codehurst. So as the name suggests, it was a female hiring program. And currently they are hiring uh, again with the Codehurst program. So if you are an aspiring you know, software engineer and if you're in third and fourth year, you can go ahead and apply. I've shared you know, my interview experience on my LinkedIn as well. So uh, like I applied through that program. There were two OA, uh, MCQs and coding, uh, coding uh, challenge. And then uh, interviews like uh, for after the clearing the OA. And then I also received an offer from Browser Stack. It's basically a unicorn. So I applied to that via referral <coughs> because uh, there was this referral hiring. They were only hiring through, uh, like they only were considering the applications which are coming via referrals. So I applied via referral. And then uh, soon there was a resume shortlisting. And then I received the test link and followed by interviews. That's great. And one fun part, like I also worked at Walmart and I am currently working at Microsoft. So we have two common company. I like it. <laughs> so uh, third question I want to ask you that, uh, how is the like, can you please share the brief about how the interview experience of internship looks like? Sure. So like usually there are, uh, there's one to two OA rounds. So in uh, OA you are mostly asked <laughs> the coding question, TSA questions. So you have to like uh, solve the uh, question, write the code and pass the test cases. Some OA might have MCQs on computer science fundamentals or aptitude or something like that. Then after you are, you've cleared the OA, there'll be a set of interviews. The how number of interviews totally varies company to company. If I talk about Walmart, there were two interviews. First was technical. <coughs> it was for the six months hiring program. So first was technical and the second was hiring manager round. For uh, Morgan Stanley, there, were, there was like a one technical round, second was HR plus technical round. For Microsoft, there were two technical rounds. One was hiring manager and uh, the last one was um, HR rounds, it would be four rounds. So basically in technical rounds, you are asked, you're evaluated on the concepts of data structures, computer science fundamentals, which includes uh, operating systems, TPMS, and uh, some interviews might have computer networks as well and uh, like some oops concept. 
for uh, like this is what this is what is covered in technical interviews for managerial you may be evaluated on your resume like what you what whatever you have written on your resume so like basically you will be asked questions around that or projects you have done so you will have to explain all those things to the interviewer and uh, the last round which is hr round so basically it will involve some behavioral kind of questions or leadership questions or team based questions so they'll be giving you some situations and you will have to answer them uh, like by your best capability and what you'll be doing in that situation so just be honest in the whole interview process uh, give your best and yeah that's great so uh, like at lots of our viewer are, are like a fresher or someone who is uh, at college student like some of the college student and some of like uh, someone who is uh, in third year and second year so what are some advice you want to give them uh, if they are, if, if they want to prepare for internship at different company okay some advices the first and foremost advice i would like give is like do not ever self reject yourself like uh, there is a saying uh, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take so <laughs> uh, just try out give your best like apply uh, just don't uh, think that you're not capable of uh, capable of yourself just you know believe self belief is the most important key believe in yourself believe in your skills and go and apply for the uh, job opportunities you think uh, like you are uh, actually uh, like which is actually you know you are uh, aiming for that industry and then uh, some uh, like second advice i would like to give is who are actually preparing for the interviews and who are actually preparing data structures so do not ever you know cram the solutions because it will eventually not help you in the long run like as the interviews uh, you are not only expected to code but also to tell your intuition to your code walk through so obviously if you are cramming the solutions that won't even help and uh, the one and the most important advice which i would like to give is that even something i believe in that uh, always surround yourself with more successful people who will provide you you know with enough motivation and a clear pathway to becoming like them and achieving more and if you are like if you're looking for some advices like how to prepare for data structures or something like that then there is so much content out there on internet even amrita and even uh, myself i used to we used to post on linkedin so you can just you know follow all those posts as well like how to prepare for all this what is actually like i have shared my interview experiences on my linkedin and as well as like uh, how like the, uh, there are so many you know posts i have done like how you can convert your internship to a ppo so all those things there are so many advices out just give your best shot and i'm sure you will if, uh, do amazing if your efforts are in the right way so yeah all the best for your interviews thanks amrita so these are really great advice especially you said that don't give up in short i want to say that if you will apply for 100 company then there will be a one probability for getting call from one company but if you will not apply for any company then of course you will not got call from any company so try to apply and keep like be consistent and try to do solve uh, solving dsa and different computer fundamental this is a common thing that everyone do but one thing that people not used to do is consistency so keep consistent and be consistent so that's all about this video thank you so much thank you thank you nishta for accepting my invitation bye bye thank you bye bye